currently in Lebanon and very close to Tripoli. And I thought I'd go through a bit of a bike packing setup while I carry on a trip where I'm staying in pretty predominantly in one base and then going on day trips and then a couple of overnighters. And this is my setup for an overnighter trip basically. So I'm running the Giant Revolt with some Fidlock bottles. Uh, they clip on, on and off nicely because it's very hot at the minute in the Lebanon. And uh, yeah, it feels like I'm in a sauna that I can't get out of. Um, so to stay hydrated, I'm using a restrap strap here to keep a tube down here. Um, for navigation, I'm using a Wahoo, Wahoo Roam. And then on the front here, I have a, a restrap uh, bar bag that I'm carrying my camera set up in. So the, the Canon camera that I'm filming on right now, I've got a, a padded bag in here, which carries the camera, a lens, Spare lens, extra lens. Um, and then I have like Insta 360 and spare battery. And then just for overnight stuff, you carry a charger and cables for charging all the electro electronics. And then got some toothpaste and uh, some vitamin tablets. So that's really nice, a nice bargain. What I found with having a smaller frame is that when you have a bigger bigger bag, it can very often start rubbing on the front tire. So what Restrap have done really nicely is I'm running a bumper bar. So this there's a metal contraption here that fits onto uh, turns into a spacer on your on your um, headset, and then basically keeps the bag more upright and out of the way, so it's staying off the front tire which is really handy for um, me because I've obviously got a um, smaller frame. And then in the front here, another, another compartment, got an exposure light. This is a um, MK13 Diablo. And it's always handy just to carry lights. You never know what situation you're gonna get into. So we were not on a ride the other night and um, we got back a lot later than we expected and just coming into dusk, it was super good to have a set of lights. I've uh, got some nuts for um, fueling on the bike and sun cream because it's very hot in Lebanon once again just to stop me from burning because I've got a uh, fair skin uh, some what's this called? it's um, hand sanitizer got some hand sanitizer just to keep your, your hands nice and clean and then I have the mount for the front light and a rear Exposure light um, to fit onto the bike. And then, last two things I have in here is a first aid kit, which I have some cleansing wipes, some burn cream, got some ibuprofen, um, got some plasters, some compede. Um, what else have I got in here? I had some modium, just in case I. Um, happen to need to relieve myself too much and then a Lazine uh, pump it's a more mountain bikey gravel kind of pump so it's uh, for bigger tires bigger volume tires uh, and then in the restrap top tube bag I have my toothbrush and a lot of bike packers like cut this and saw this in half but like I find that having a longer toothbrush you can stick it in more places so you're not having to especially when you've already brushed your teeth and you've got a wet toothbrush you don't want to be sticking it in your bag to get like holding that moisture so I like to keep it out and let it dry a bit so it's nice to have a fully fully full length toothbrush to be able to stick it in here and zip this up and then the air dries and then you can put it away when it's dry and it's good on a like bike back and race it's a nice way to wake yourself up with a bit of a toothpaste and a toothbrush to clean the mouth and it almost refreshes you. And then in here I've got like a camelback uh, pouch and in, in that I'm carrying all my tools. So I've got a Lazine multi-tool with a load of different um, Allens on it. I'm carrying this uh, multi-chain plier for any for your quick links and a chain breaker. So I've got a chain breaker on here as well. But, uh, always having 
handy having a set of chain pliers. And then my favourite tool is this little um, oh, Leatherman pliers. You know, a few different uh, tools on it, a pair of scissors, and it's always handy having just a little pair of pliers. So I've, I've found on a few races that I've, if I'd had that, I would have um, saved my race basically. Um, also in here, I have a, a rear mech hanger, always handy having one of those, and some spare brake pads. I'm also carrying some well tied chain loop, which is great when you, your chain starts to creak which, um, and squeak, which is always inevitable when you're bike packing. So I always bring some, just a little little bottle of lube. Just, I basically just had a little bottle and filled the, um, refilled it to house the, the lube that I'm using. Along with that, is I'm always bringing some. A chain wipe, so I've got a well tied chain wipe and a disc brake wipe just to clean that chain when it gets all grotty with the, the dust and the sand. And I found that really useful in Atlas Mountain Race because I um, used one of those a couple of times. Um, this is the rear mount for the, the rear light. Set of gloves because you never know, um, just to protect the hands and if it, you're coming down a cold descent, but I don't think I'll leave them here to be honest. And then another spare tube, I'm actually carrying three on the bike at all times. Because you never know, especially with bike packing. I am running tubeless with um, a set of Hutchinson Override 50mm tyres. But you never know, so it's like, it's worth carrying three tubes, then you can repair each one once and then you've got another spare. So that's what I'm carrying in the top tube bag here. And then, because it's a, we did an overnighter last night, we came from up in the mountains down to towards Tripoli here. I carried the restrap um, rear bag. This is the, one of the smaller versions, but when you're just going on a short trip, you don't really need to carry much. So basically all I'm doing is carrying one set of casual clothes and one set of cycling kit. So I've got the Northwave cycling kit, which I've been really enjoying recently. Like the shorts are so comfortable. And a, and a buff. Also, you never know, even if like the buff's good for it. in the heat when you've got dust and things, you want to cover your mouth. And then the last thing I'm carrying in here. But on the shorter days where I'm just going on a day trip, I'd get rid of this and just carry this on the back. But this has got the other tube in. It's got a well tied uh, tubeless repair kit with all the plugs and all that necessities for repairing tubeless. I've got a restrap um, patch kit, so that's for gluing this onto the tyre if the tyre gets ripped or any scenarios like that. I have some tyre levers and some tube repair kits and spare quick link for the bike. And then anything else that I'm, I'm running on the, the valves, I've got a Lazain valve core removal that's here, and then on the back using something else. I've got a, an adapter that goes from uh, Presta to Schrader. So I can basically pump my tires up at any gas station and get it up to pressure without using a hand pump. Oh, also on the front I have some uh, rack mounts here that I found really useful. Yesterday I strapped my um, Birkenstocks onto the front here with using restraps uh, uh, straps and then they didn't budge at all, like fit really nicely. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the setup I'm running in Lebanon. I'm running DI2, GRX. Uh, I have look pedals with Shimano um, pleats. And yeah, it's, uh, it's running really nicely. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions below and I can do more of these bike packing videos, do a wire carrying a longer trip. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.